Hi, I'm Jacqueline Thorpe, Train Me Today's CEO and your trainer for today. Welcome to the PHR California Exam Preparation Orientation. The orientation and introduction class provides you with the information you need to use the many resources that we have available for you to be successful in passing the PHRCA exam. Tonight, we will go over the technical aspects of the class as well as the syllabus, what you can expect, and what is expected from you. All right, so there are four parts to this program. This is what is called blended learning. So you have your 90 minutes a week with your instructor in class. You have a ton of homework, at least four to six hours a week. And then you have the online portion of the program. Here you will listen to pre-recorded lectures and take your practice exams and find a lot of other good information. So you will receive in the mail a login and this is what will ha what what it'll look like when you go to hrcoach.moodle.school and so you'll click in your information and log in then you'll go up to your name up here click on that and you'll find a list of things available you can take a look at your dashboard which is how you actually get into the class you can look at your profile check out your grades see if there's any messages for you and change your pre preferences to the program so let's go ahead and jump right into the classroom. So there's two ways to get into the classroom. You can either click on Navigation, click on PHRCA, or you can click on PHRCA Exam Preparation, click here. And this brings you to all of the resources that you have in the hrcoach.moodle.school. So right here you see is your six-week syllabus. I'm going to open that up real quick for you so you can take a look at it. And this is your schedule. So it's a simple Word document. We haven't done anything fancy with it. And then down here is the schedule that you're going to follow. So there's not dates on here because this is the same syllabus that we use for every class, but is the exact same structure. So before you ever go to class, you want to begin reviewing your book and you want to get into HR Coach Moodle School and just kind of peruse around the classroom and uh, listen to some of the lectures and get an idea and a feel of what's going on because once week one starts everything's going to move really fast so on week one you're going to read about HRCI you're going to read about the exam you're going to read all of functional area number one compensation wage and hour you'll be listening to the pre-recorded lectures and you'll take the wage and hour assessment you'll also go out to the internet and choose the IWC order that applies to your organizations as well as post three questions to the blog and each week is going to be the exact same process. So week two, we'll start talking about employment and employee relations. Um, actually, week two, we talk about compensation wage and hour, which is actually sort of week one. And then uh, the following week, we do benefits and leaves of absence, then health, safety, and workers' compensation. And of course, I forgot to mention employment and employee relations. All of the links that you might need to go out to the internet are over here on the side under your resources. So this is your syllabus and it's very, very important that you follow this structure for the six week classes. Now, if you're not taking an actual class and you just happen to be watching this orientation, you'll probably be using the 10 week schedule. As I mentioned earlier, you're going to take the pre-assessment. This pre-assessment will determine where you're at right now. You only want to take it once, and if you get a horrible score, that's fine. Don't worry about it. We're just determining what you know today. You will retake it at the end of the class, and hopefully you'll go like from something like 30% today to 90% at the end of the class. You also have access to printable flashcards and Quizlet. Quizlet's a lot of fun. It's a place where other students go in and post uh, 
potential exam questions and uh, study flashcards. So here you see the first week of your uh, class is functional area number one. And here you've got intro. Uh, uh, this is a pre recorded video that you'll listen to. It's intro and DLSC pre recorded lectures. Here's IWC orders. So this is everything that you'll listen to in week one. Once you've done, listen to all your pre recorded lectures and you've read your book, then you're going to go down here and take FA1 practice exams. We've also included for you a PowerPoint presentation. Some people like PowerPoint presentations to um, get through. And some of the different instructors who teach this class live also use these PowerPoint presentations in class. So it's the same thing really week after week for four full weeks. Then on the final week, which is your sixth week of class, orientation is your first week of class. But on the final week, you will take comprehensive exam true-false. It's just kind of a quiz type thing. Then you will retake that pre-assessment that you took in the beginning. And then you have what is called our final comprehensive assignment. This is a four-hour assignment. It is open book and study buddy. The bottom line is you have to get this done by the end of class on your sixth class and turn it in to your instructor. We also include other resources. Down here you've got just a number of, really, they're just papers that talk about things that students have come back and said, hey, you know, there was a secret shopper question. And maybe they didn't realize that the secret shopper question was actually more about the Private Investigators Act than it was secret shoppers. And so we give you an example of the Private Investigators Act and tell you a little bit about how that works. All right, and um, yeah, all of this stuff, there's some calculations that we'll be using in class, um, some documents about calculating overtime with bonuses, and interview do's and don'ts. So lots of, lots of good stuff down here for you. And of course, the class time is really, really important. All right, you are required to post a blog, three questions every week. That's right over here. You see blog menu. And you'll be posting it down here where it says add an entry about this course. And this is what it looks like. It'll be blank. Um, but let's go back and show you what uh, other students have done so you'll get an idea. You can look at the blog again. And you can see here that we've got Lahua who posted some questions, Garab who posted some questions. Let's take a look at Catherine though. I like the way Catherine posted her questions and this is really the most effective way to post your questions. She said on page seven, professional exemption. Would a certified HR professional be considered a professional exemption? Would they have to be certified? And the answer to the question is, mm, it's not the only thing that counts, but it certainly doesn't hurt. Okay. And then she asks on page 33, timing of pay, is this changing for seasonal employees? And we were able to talk about the fact that it, it's in legislature, but it hasn't passed yet. And it's for 2019. So, Yes, if you have seasonal employees, you do need to worry about it. But as far as preparing for the exam, you don't need to worry about it because they're not going to test you on anything that's happening in 2019. All right, so that is your classroom in a nutshell. Let's go back now and wrap it up. There's a couple of checkpoints that you want to consider as you watch yourself get through this class. It's a six week class and so that means we're moving pretty rapidly. So the first thing you want to do is get that syllabus and make sure you stay on schedule. Don't get behind, otherwise you'll get lost. And if you do get lost and um, you realize that you're in over your head. You can always use our second chance policy and retake the class the next time it comes up. In class is really important that you're in a position where you can discuss 
your questions. So I know sometimes people are driving home and it doesn't work, but you to get to make the most out of your class time, you really do want to be in a position where you can have a microphone and, and be involved and be interactive with the class. Finally, you have at least four to six hours of homework every week. That's reading, that's listening to lectures, and that is taking your practice exams. And then finally, uh, you can download those lectures on from HR Coach Moodle School. You can listen to them while you can actually literally just go onto the website and listen to them on your phone, but you can also download them in iTunes and Play School. If you attend all six classes and you pass the class at 90%, you will receive a certificate of completion. Now let's talk a little bit about recertification. Once you've passed the exam, you want to make sure that you maintain your PHRCA. So that means you have to get 60 credits over three years, and each credit is valued at one hour of education. So that's 15 California credits you have to earn over three years, and 45 general credits that you have to earn over three years. Or you can look at it this way, 20 hours a year, of which five of those have to be California specific and 15 have to be general. So where do you get these credits? Well, you can go to things like Pyra meetings. For every Pyra meeting that you go to, you get one credit. Sure meetings. Any class that you take, any class that you take uh, is an educational, as long as it has something to do with management or human resources, is an educational credit for every hour that you take the class. Leadership roles that you take on, certain projects that you might do at work, there's more information on the hrci.org website about that. So any one hour of HR education that you take is worth one credit, one HRCI credit. Now in June every year, Train Me Today sponsors the HR Pro Conference, and we give five California credits. So you get all the California credits you need per year if you're able to attend the HR Pro Conference. It is in Lake Elsinore, so for some of you it might be a drive, but it's worth it. It's about an hour drive from L.A., hour and a half maybe, and um, it's against traffic, so it's something to consider. And you get all five of your California credits, and you don't have to worry about um, getting the California credits. Okay, let's look at some of the frequently asked questions. If we miss a class, can we make it up? I'm sorry, we have no way to do that, but you can retake the entire program at no cost when the next program happens. That is our second chance policy. The first comprehensive practice exam we are required to take before class starts, should we study for it? No. You want to take this test to measure what your breadth of knowledge is. For those that have been successful, how did they study? Read every word of the book twice. Okay, highlight and tab pages where you have questions and bring those questions with you to class. And I also encourage everybody to look for typos. Um, originally, when we wrote the book, we sent it to an editor. We paid him a lot of money, and he still missed a lot of little things. So it seems like every single semester or every single class I find an S somewhere where it shouldn't be. For those that have been successful, how did they study? Download the app from iTunes or Play Store and listen to the lectures over and over. When will I receive my books? It usually takes about four days from the time that you order them until the time that you receive them. And so if you order early in the morning, you will probably get it the, almost maybe just two days later. But if you order at night, it'll probably be three or four days. How many times can we take the practice assessment? You can take them unlimited times. And that's it. So if you have any questions, 
please don't hesitate to shoot me an email or give me a call or go visit our website at www.trainmetoday.com. Of course, our email address is info at trainmetoday.com and any number of our trainers might respond to that question. And then my personal company phone number is 714-269-9925. Happy studying.